Hi, good day Polinians. Here I am again. Welcome back. And for today's video lesson, we are going to discuss about the music of Myanmar. But before that, let us know what Myanmar is all about. Myanmar is the northernmost country in the Southeast Asia. Its shape is like a kite with its tail running along the Malay Peninsula. The country Myanmar is the largest country in Southeast Asia with 14 states and regions. And also, like most of the other countries in Southeast Asia, Myanmar experiences tropical wet and dry climate too. Myanmar is also known as Burma. Its official name is the Union of Myanmar. Myanmar was a colony of the United Kingdom of Great Britain until its independence in 1948 and also influenced by its neighboring Asian countries like Thailand and of course China. Music of Myanmar is greatly influenced by China and Thailand because these two countries share their borders with Myanmar. Aside from Asian influences, Western influences are also felt during the contemporary period. Here, Myanmar music has become prevalent because of the following societal factors that have affected the country. The first one is festivities for the king and his visitors and subjects. And the second one, the influence of Buddhism in the country. The third one is Burmese celebration of hard work such as planting, harvesting, and of course, fishing. The last one, of course, is that narrating the story of Nat and the Asian spirits of Myanmar through music. Myanmar musicians do not use any sheets notes when performing. They improvise during the performance, allowing the creativity and ornamentation to improve the performance. Seniors and musicians support one another during a performance. Each one of them should learn how to improvise. Myanmar music has musical timing but generally without harmony. Musical instruments in Myanmar can be categorized into two. The loud sounding and of course the other one, the soft sounding. Here is what we call saying wain. Saying Wain is a Myanmar musical ensemble and was originally performed in the confinements of the royal court. Contemporary development in the Saying Wain has managed to include other instruments such as piano, such as violin, mandolin in the ensemble. Saying Wain is still preserved in Myanmar today and considered as a cultural treasure. Most Saying Wain instruments are categorized as lamb sounding. Here are some of the well-known gongs in the saying wain. The first one is pat wain, the second one is ki wain, and the third one is mau saying. The next slide, the theory saying is the saungo, the most famous soft sounding instrument in Myanmar. That is what we call saungo. This instrument is played indoors to suit generally calm atmosphere, commonly played in patala, bamboo, xylophone. Saungdok is made of paduk, the famous Myanmar mahogany. The strings are made of silk. Saungdok is a famous instrument in Burmese royal courts and a part of ancient Burmese music tradition. For us to know, how Saungo is being played, here is the sample video. And that's it. We're done. I think that's all for today. I hope that you learned a lot. See you in the next lesson. Thank you for listening. Bye.